Hey everybody, it's Rebecca and we're doing the revenue rundown. It is week number 15 and unfortunately it is our last week doing the revenue rundown. Uh, we saved the best for last though. I'm joined today by Commissioner Breslin. We're super excited. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, I've got a couple of quick announcements before we get to our conversation, um, so you have to bear with me. Um. We're super bummed out, but we've been really excited to do this experiment. Um, we're uh, excited to check out kind of our results and get back to we will be reaching out to you to see if this was valuable did you even know it was happening i don't know we'll find out um but very quickly it is uh, the friday before tax day which is april 15th which means i'm here to remind you that monday your federal income taxes are due April 15th is the big day. That's also your opportunity to apply for the Earned Income Tax Credit. We did a huge show about that all last week where we were talking to um, Tem Temple Professor um, Wayne, Dr. Wayne Williams. So check that out. It's a really good interview. He also did a lot of good promos for us around EITC. He did some nice interviews and testimonials. Uh, he's done a lot of volunteer work. So don't let... Don't leave money on the table, folks. It's yours, so you earned it. Uh, you can check out more information about Earned Income Tax Credit at youearnedatphilly.com. Um, also, um, April 15th, that's Monday, is the last day to file and pay your um, Philadelphia School Income Tax. If you have unearned income, so that's that's money that you earn not from a job, so maybe it's rental, in, not rental, well, it depends. Dividends. Dividends, you know, that sort of thing. Um, you will owe school income tax. It's a tax that's been around since the 50s, but sometimes people don't understand that much about it. We have a lot of videos about that, so check that. Check those videos out. We'll have links to all those. Um, and also, April 15th is the date that we ask folks to file and pay their business income and receipts tax, their net profits tax, and nine out of 10, more than nine out of 10, business owners pay in full and on time every year. You should be one of them. Okay, so if you haven't paid, um, you need to get on board. Get on board with the, with the like on time train. Um, we know that people, sometimes people do have trouble, sometimes they can't, or maybe something unexpectedly has occurred. That's all right. We've got some flexible payment plans and we're doing, we'll have more information about that in some of our blog stuff next week. So make sure you check that out. Um, okay, so Commissioner, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for joining us and thanks for uh, for indulging me with all those long that long litany of announcements. But um, so we have talked about it. Tax season ends on Monday. Um, what would you like to say to taxpayers as we're in the end, we're in the home stretch? Well, first thing I like to say to taxpayers is thank you. You know, 96% of our real estate um, taxpayers file on time, mm -hmm. in full, in the year that the taxes are due. So that's awesome. And for our other taxes, our collection rate is over 90%. Right. So most people are paying their taxes on time, and that's great, and we appreciate it, and that's why we're so busy at this time of year at the end of tax season. Right. Um, but also, because we're so busy, I want to put a thank you out there um, to the Revenue Department staff. Yeah. Um, they're really doing a yeoman's job, uh, doing a great job. They come to work every day and you know meet with the, the taxpayers and do a fantastic job and help people to achieve that on-time payment. Mm -hmm. So um, great job there. And also, you know, other people are taking notice uh, to what we're doing. We do customer surveys. Every customer who comes into the building, who contacts us by phone, by email, we give them the opportunity to provide us with feedback. And we've been doing that for about 18 months, and our customer feedback is really changing. We're getting a lot more positive feedback. Right. Our score, it keeps improving. And I want to encourage people to, to, when you have an interaction with the Department of Revenue, please give us some feedback. Lots of people are looking at that, including myself. I look at surveys every week. It helps guide our process improvements, and it also helps guide us where we can identify where staff may need some training. So um, so keep doing that. Give us your feedback. It's really important to us. And there's been some significant changes process-wise that was the direct result of suggestions that taxpayers have made to us. You know, there's any number. We won't get into them here, but, I mean, we really take that stuff seriously. So please, yes, yeah, the commissioner yeah. says, make sure you fill it out. And I might add, if you can, it'd be awesome if you gave us a review on Facebook um, or on our Google business pages. Like, let us know. If you've had a good experience, share that. I know that... A lot of times people um, concentrate on the negative, but concentrate on, give us both. Let us know where we can improve, and if you've had a good experience, share that as well. So, Absolutely. yeah. Um, okay, so it is 
it's after March 31st. All right, I know we've been, we kind of were pushing it's April 15th, but we just had a big tax deadline for the real estate tax. If we've missed it, if you've missed paying your real estate tax for this year, um, what do I do? Or what if I owe other taxes? Is there stuff, is there something I should be doing? Absolutely. Right. So for people that miss the opportunity to pay their real estate taxes on time, I encourage you to reach out to us. We really understand that there's things that could happen that you know interfere, life happens, and things can interfere with your intent to pay on time. And if that's happened to you, mm -hmm. you know, reach out to the department because really there's time right now to come in and get into a payment agreement and get things interest and um, penalties have not really accrued. So the sooner you do that, the less your bill will be. And we have people here ready to get you into a, an affordable payment agreement. And we can talk more about that. And we have programs as well that can reduce your tax liability. So definitely, if you're behind on your real estate taxes, reach out to us. Really, if you're behind on any taxes, reach out to us. We have programs to assist. We understand that things happen, situations occur that create you to be behind on your taxes. Don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help. That goes for your business taxes, the school income tax, any tax delinquency. Reach out. We have programs that can assist you. Right. And those tax issues, they don't go away. They just kind of get worse. So it's more, it's important to call us as soon as you think you're going to have a problem. Even, even if you are, even if you don't have a problem just yet, reach out to us and we can talk. You had mentioned the programs. Do you want to go through some of those for, for the folks uh, watching us here? Sure. Um, First, let's start with real estate taxes and uh, with homeowners. So one of the programs we have is a homestead exemption, which means if you live in your home, um, it's your primary residence, you're eligible for a homestead exemption. The only qualifications that it's your um, primary residence. And it's a very simple application, as simple as could be. You're basically just telling us your name, the property address, and certifying that it's your principal residence, that's it. And that can save you 500, up to $559 on your taxes. Mm -hmm. So great program. I encourage anyone out there who's a, a, a homeowner that has not participated in that program, reach out to us, we'll reduce your bill. Sticking with real estate taxes for people that are behind on their real estate taxes and it's their principal residence, and we just talked about with the homestead. One, you want to get the homestead exemption, make sure you have it, because that'll reduce your bill. But then, if you're delinquent, come in and talk to us about our owner-occupied payment agreement, mm -hmm. which we call UPA. Um, UPA is awesome. Uh, what it basically does is get you into a payment arrangement that is based on your income. So it makes it by design an affordable payment arrangement, a payment arrangement you're gonna be able to pay. It puts you into compliance so that you don't have to worry about any kind of enforcement action. Um, and, um, you know, that even can waive interest and penalty. And we have payments as low as, believe it or not, zero dollars. Right, for our most vulnerable, for our most, most vulnerable, vulnerable folks, folks, you can get into a payment agreement that is as low as zero dollars a month that protects the homeowner from sheriff sale, from foreclosure, like you are in a, a special perfect place there so long as you remain eligible. Right, so I mean that really emphasizes that for a homeowner who's delinquent, there is no reason not to contact us. We can get you into an affordable payment agreement and you will not have to worry about any of those bad things that we just talked about. Interest, penalties accruing, any of right. that stuff. So. Right, so UPA is super, just remember that. Upa. Super UPA. Super UPA. Um, and then we've got another one that you wanted to talk about today. Another one that's really um, that's really helpful is the senior tax freeze. And this is for senior citizens. There are income guidelines and contact us. We can give you more in information about it. But what this does is this pr protects senior citizens from increases in their real estate tax. It locks the, their real estate taxes in at the current level. And that means if, their inter if the um, rate of tax goes up, their taxes do not go mm -hmm. up, or if the assessed value of the property goes up, their real estate taxes do not increase. Um, so really important. We have lots of information about them online. There are, with that one, there's income um, limitations or income guidelines, so look for that. But there's also deadlines on these. So look, there's plenty of time right now, um, but take a look at it now. 
Use the April 15th deadline as a time to prompt yourself to look at your whole tax situation and get back into compliance and look at it as kind of like a spring cleaning. It's a perfect time okay. to do that. Yeah. And so we talked a lot about real estate tax. How about like other types of taxes? What about business taxes? Or, you know, there's, there's other ways that folks can kind of find themselves in a jam. Absolutely. And again, I just stress that if you're behind on any kind of taxes, reach out to us because we have done a lot over the last few years to make paying your taxes and getting caught up much easier. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to really move to affordable payment agreements. So um, payment agreements are flexible, low down payments. Uh, really, if you come in, I'm sure any taxpayer who comes in, we can find, t find terms that will get them back on track. And that's really the goal here, to get taxpayers back on track. Right, and so you can pay, you have up to 60 months to pay. The sooner you pay, the larger reduction you might see in penalties. You know, so there's, there's an incentive for you to pay as much as you can quickly, but if you can't, if that doesn't work for you, that's okay. We, 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 we can work with what cash flow yeah. kind of happens. And we have a great little widget on the web page where mm -hmm. you can go in and play around with down payment numbers and term numbers to find a, a monthly payment that works for you. Right. And then we'll try to get a payment agreement that, you know, that meets that. Right. And that's um, www.phila.gov slash payment hyphen plans. And uh, we have some of our options there. Um, okay, so we talked about payment plans for taxes, but there's more that we do, and there's more that we want to talk about today, especially, um, specific, let's say, for water assistance. Yeah, so people sometimes forget, and we're so much focused on taxes, that the revenue department, that we also um, collect the water payments for your water bills, for your water and sewer usage. So um, we're really on the forefront here with a program uh, we call TAP, the Tiered Assistance Program, which, again, can make your water bill payments affordable. Well, again, it's income-based. We, you know, to, to kind of oversimplify, we look at how much you can afford to pay based on your income, and then we get you into a water bill that's that's affordable, that's mm -hmm. based on your income. And uh, so sometimes people get into a situation of delinquency and then they get worried or afraid to come into the department because they're not sure what will happen. Um, you know, we don't turn water off in the winter because we want to keep our most vulnerable citizens safe, but sometimes that leads to a delinquency and then we hit spring and it's time when we start water shutoffs and nobody wants to have their water shut off and we don't want to shut off anybody's water. So this program will help keep the water flowing, it'll get in, you into an affordable payment and it is an awesome awesome program we have lots of information about it so I encourage people right. reach right. out to us I mean again I can't say it enough we really are here to help we only want to use enforcement as a last tool so there will include a link to more information about the tiered assistance program in the comments and the thing to remember about that is that just apply there are other um, water assistance programs like a discount for seniors or medical hardship or there's a few other things but it's all one application you put your information in there and the system will help sort out what's the best deal for you so just just apply that's all you you know be ready like read through the doc you'll need to put together some documents and it takes a little bit of time but it's worth it and it's definitely worth it to keep your water flowing if you're having a hard time paying the bill um, so thank you commissioner thank you so much for joining us today um, I have a few other announcements that I'm gonna do really quick I just want to before I sign off I just want to give the whole communications team <laughs> I know this is the final episode <laughs> so I want to give you and Joseph behind the camera um, Michelle's you know, upstairs Michelle, yeah well the whole communications team the you know Vicki the outreach Marissa I mean the communications team is awesome thank you um, season one of Facebook live <laughs> revenue has been awesome I know it's online so people can binge watch right and I'm really excited to see what's coming out in uh, in season two so right maybe you. we'll go on the road maybe we'll do something on the road but you awesome. know if like people are having a hard time sleep they can totally watch, yeah. watch some of our <laughs> videos um, you know every week we um, we talk about where we're gonna be in the community so if you want to check out you want to learn about some of these programs in person and talk to a very friendly face miss Vicki Riley or any of our other outreach crew um, join us join us this weekend so Saturday Saturday on April 13th, we're going to be at the Spring Wellness Day. That's with the People's Emergency Center in West Philadelphia. We'll also be at the Let's See If We Can Help. That's going to be in South 
um, Philadelphia and we'll be at that meeting. On Monday, we're gonna be at the 19th Police District meeting out in West Philadelphia. Tuesday, we'll be at Councilwoman Sherelle Parker's Town Hall and Budget Briefing. That's gonna be in Northeast Philadelphia um, and reach out to the Councilwoman's office if you have questions on location. And on Wednesday, April 17th, we'll be at the State Representative Isabella Fitzgerald's Town Hall. That's gonna be out in East Oak Lane. And again, reach out to her office, Miss Isabella, excuse me, State Rep Representative Isabella Fitzgerald. Um, we're gonna reach out to her office for more details. And then Thursday, we've got, we're gonna be at three different places. We're gonna be at the Councilman Curtis Jones's Home Stabilization Summit. That's in West Philadelphia. State Senator um, Larry Farnese's Senior um, Expo, and then we'll also be at uh, the 13th Ward meeting in Elk in um, Hunting Park. Um, and just a reminder, two, two reminders. One, this Saturday we will be open for the last extended hours um, from 10 until 2 here in the Municipal Services Building. So if you have any last minute things or you want a last minute um, you have last minute questions about um, any taxes or about getting into an, an agreement, this building, the Municipal Services Building at 1401 JFK, will be open from 10 to 2 on Saturday. And then also we're closed on Good Friday, so just heads up. Um, and if you want us at your event, we are happy to be there. Just reach out. All you have to do is ask. We'll put you on the calendar. Email Vicki Riley at philly.gov. That's V-I-C-K-I dot R-I-L-E-Y at philly.gov. And we are happy to come. Like, we will go to neighborhood events. We go to church events. We go to business district stuff. The neighborhood action committees. You name it. You got it. We will be there. Just let us know how long you need us to speak for. Um, so have a great weekend. And don't forget tax day. We're going to be... Signing up, signing off for now, but we'll be popping up um, throughout the rest of the year, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for a great season. Thank you.